this is Jeannie from Light Up the Night Bicycle Lights, and Mario's here to show you how to install these bad boys. All right, so currently you should have one pack of lights for each wheel, as well as two zip ties that goes along to install your battery pack. First thing that you want to do, get your lights out of the pack, make sure your batteries are installed correctly, and just kind of switch them on, make sure that all the lights work. All right, great, we got that done. We'll go over and get them installed onto the wheel. Okay, so I just picked a rear wheel to install our first battery pack, but it's going to be the same procedure for either one. So what I'm doing is I'm placing the uh, battery pack so that we can run our lead wire up the first spoke next to the uh, valve stem. Got it placed right here. Each wheel being a little different, you kind of have to adjust it and find where you have a good spot to tie your battery pack into so that we can get it nicely stabilized. Grab your zip tie. So we've got one vertical. I'm going to bring our other in here and secure it horizontally. Nicely slug snugged up. And just take some scissors or snips to cut off the excess. Okay, as you can see, there's a thicker lead wire that brings us up to where our lights are. Each wheel being a little bit different. Tall wheels, shorter wheels, uh, depending on how your spokes run. But what we're going to do is we're going to take up a little bit of space and wrap the lead wire around. This particular wheel, it's a, it's a smaller wheel, shorter wheel. So I'm taking a couple of wraps down at the battery pack. Then I'm going to start wrapping it around that first spoke to run it all the way up to the top. As you can see, brings it up pretty quick and just adjust that wire down. And here's your connection all the way at the top. So at the top, now I'm going to bring it around and secure that with a few wraps. So that my first light starts out right here. There's my first light. Okay, now I come to the um, coiled up wire here. The end is wrapped around to secure it. And I just kind of take that off nice and carefully. And it should come right off. So what I like to do is just kind of slowly unwrap the coil, take all the kings out, and stretch it out to its full length. If you prefer, you can unwind it as you go along, but I find it's easier to just be able to pull the wire carefully through. So, spokes are placed on, on either side here, so this is more onto the right side of the, um, the rim, this is on the left side, so I bring it, bring it around over here so we can run it nice. Weave one around, weave the other one around. So depending on your wheel placement, either either other second or third, I'm going to take a wrap to secure it a little bit more. So bring it on through, back again. So now we have a wrap here and we weaved here. And you can continue on through. Bring it over again. Nicely pull it through. And here we go again, pulling it through and taking a full wrap. Just be gingerly with it. This way here it's nice and nice and snug, not too tight, and we're keeping it about a half an inch from the rim. All right, so we're almost all the way around, taking our last few weaves and wraps here. Wrap it again, please secure it. There we go, there's our last light. Now, like I said, every, every bike application, every rim might be a little bit different in size. Um, 
now that I'm all done. If you wanted to, I guess you could, you could come across and add a couple extra lights. But we can just snip these two off. Turn them on and voila, there we go. All right, so we done with both tires. Got the rear, got the front installed. That went the same way. Couple hints and tips on how to install your lights. Place your bike upside down on a nice solid surface that gives you the most stability. Also, what we did is we placed the battery pack on the off side from where your gears are, where your chain runs on the rear. That way it makes things a lot easier, especially when you have to deal with um, um, your chain or your gears on that side. And then we did the same thing on the front. Keep the battery packs on the same side of the bike when you're turning them on and off. Makes it easy. When you are installing them, if you, if you sit behind the, um, the tire, stand behind the tire like this, come up the spoke that's facing you from the stem, and now you can work yourself um, around the tire, weaving through, and it makes it really easy rather than being on the overside and having to reach over. Same thing in the front. Just stand here and just weave it on through and you can just rotate through until you get to the other side. Once your batteries are dead, probably the average life between 15 and 20 hours, depending on conditions, all you need to do is snip off the um, zip ties, the back cover slides up, take your batteries out, replace your batteries, and just zip it back in. You don't have to do anything with the lights. All right, you're all ready to rock and have fun with light up the night, bicycle wheel lights. Have fun and be safe. Bye.